Okay, um, in this example, we are now moving on to the point where um, the persists look a little bit more structured. Um, still, um, the time is in seconds, uh, as you can see there. But now they're positioned um, in quite a structured and ordered fashion. Um, and so we're not just putting them all over the place. So that means we can get rid of one of our functions originally. So we did copy and paste across in the last example um, to get mouse location. Well, you can get rid of that now. Um, so in this new example, I scroll up to the start of the script, um, which is at the end of the body. Oops. You'll notice we've got log time. Uh, get rid of this bit here. Don't need this. And then we've got a space where the get mouse location used to exist. Now, in doing this, we will break the create new post it function because that relied upon the x and y coordinates. So the difference being that create new post it, which started off accepting x and y when we called it from within the get mouse location function, is now going to just listen for the event that calls it. So I change that to E. We're also going to remove the two lines that say um, new div style left and top. Um, we'll get rid of those completely. Which leaves us um, with no more um, information in that respect. And with regards to the post it function, that's pretty much it. Um, the hide post stays the same, the reveal post stays the same, um, the event listener the same. There is one tiny little thing that makes all the difference in the world. In the original, um, previously, you would notice that the new div style position was set as absolute, which was here. So these three lines are of interest because you're deleting the second two, but the first one we're changing from absolute to relative. In doing so, it will allow us to position um, the elements in the fashion that we saw at the start of the video. Like so. Uh, and you can click anywhere inside of that right element and it will create new post-its. Um, as you collapse them, because of the relative positioning, they will all collapse together. So if I say, for instance, expand 3.97, then the ones after it will move down. And so it's getting close to the finished article.